find two numbers whose sum is 55 and whose product is 684. Let's go ahead and try to work through this solution. So we're looking for two numbers that add up to 55 and multiply to 684. So let's use some variables. Let's say that X and Y, these are the numbers. Okay, we know that they add to 55, so we can express that with an equation. X plus Y is equal to 55. We also know that their product is 684. This means they multiply to 684. So we can write that as X times Y equals 684. So now we just have to solve these equations. So I am thinking um, there's a couple ways to do this. Maybe what we can do is we can solve this one for one of the variables and plug it in here. So I'm gonna solve for Y. So we'll subtract X. So we get Y equals 55 minus X. Now we're gonna take this and plug it in here. So we have X times Y, which is this piece here. So I'm gonna replace the Y with this piece. So you have 55 minus X, and that's equal to 684. All right, let's keep going. So we can distribute this X. This is 55X minus X squared, and that's equal to 684. So this is negative X squared plus 55x. Now we can subtract this over to this side. That'll give us minus 684. And that's equal to zero. This is pretty tough to factor, but it's especially tough to factor with this minus sign here. So I'm just gonna multiply everything by negative one. So we can basically just switch the signs. So this is x squared minus 55x plus 684. And that's equal to zero. All right, so now we can factor this. Parentheses, 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 parentheses. X and X. So we need two numbers that multiply to 684 and add to 55. I think those numbers uh, might be 19 and 36. They definitely add to 55 and they should both be negative. And I'm just gonna check, I have my calculator here. 19 times 36 is equal to 684. So if you multiply this times this, you get this. If you add these, you get the middle term. We have a product equal to zero, so now you can just set each factor equal to zero. So x minus 19 is zero, or x minus 36 is zero. So here we get x equals 19, and here we get x equals 36. And so those will be the numbers that add to 55 and multiply to 684. I hope this has been helpful, good luck.